What's up guys? It's Trip to the Thrift, episode number 76. This is Connor Thrifts. We're going to Salvation Army. It's 25% off everything on Saturday. They open up in a few minutes. So I'm gonna go in there, go hard. The only problem is my battery's on 15%, so I can't look anything up. So this is a super big challenge for me because I love looking stuff up and learning stuff and gaining knowledge. But we're just gonna have to take a gamble today. I just dropped down to 10% battery, so that's bad. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will go over all of my finds when I get back to my house later. I'm also gonna go to Thrift Sense, which is down the street, and they have half off everything. So 25% off at Salvation Army, and then half off down the street at Thrift Sense. So, what's up fellas, or YouTube subscribers? So today, we are going over the Hunarmus haul, all from this one stop at Salvation Army. We only went to one stop because I filled up this entire bag. I spent $90 and just to run it down a little bit, I was helping the employee at Salvation Army, which you're not supposed to do, but the manager was cool with it. And after she gave me 50% off on three t-shirts, or their three dress shirts, there was 50% off of the shoes. And it was supposed to be 25% off of everything, but I asked her since I helped out if I could get 50% off of the two shirts or three shirts that were $12.99 each because I can't spend $12.99 to make 30 bucks. But if I got those items for half off, I could definitely buy something for $6 and sell it for 30 bucks. We definitely grabbed some really good inventory for the eBay store. I have to take pictures after I show you guys all of the items that I grabbed. I spent $90. So if I spend $90, I know that there's gonna be fees, taxes, bullshit offers. There's gonna be people canceling orders, just dumbasses that don't know how to read. They're like, oh, I thought it was a size small, but it says size large, I guess. I'm like, dude, are you an idiot? All you have to do is read. I'm gonna be opening up this duffel bag full of goodies and I'm gonna go through them one by one and show you guys what I paid for the item. First off, we have this Adidas track jacket. I believe this is size 2XL, and it has the little trefoil logo right there. It's a red colorway, got the three stripes, and this was $6.99, and it was 25% off, so this was like $5.25, and I'll probably get about 30 bucks for this piece. I'll probably ask like 35 or 40, but you can't get exactly what you're asking for 100% of the time. Next, I bought this for $1.99, then 25% off, so $1.50, it says you're killing me, Smalls, from the Sandlot, and the reason why I grabbed it was because it's brand new with tags, and I'll probably get like 20 bucks for this, maybe even 15 after someone makes an offer, but I only paid $1.50, so actually, even if someone offered me like 10 or $12, I would take it. Oh, here's a sick piece. We have the Porsche track jacket. This thing is so cool. So we got the authentic, it's actually like Porsche brand. If you guys are selling on eBay and you guys are new or you don't know, a lot of car company brands like from the 80s and 90s, if they're not like an official brand, they'll just remove it off eBay. Mercedes takes a lot of stuff off eBay. Porsche does. I'm pretty sure Rolls Royce does. A lot of the brands, even Ferrari, if you guys find vintage 90s and 80s t-shirts from like those companies, please don't list them on eBay. You guys will get a Vero strike. I'm just letting you guys know if you guys do list some car company shirts from the 80s and 90s, they could get taken off of eBay. This was one of those gambles that I took and I'm pretty sure I'll do pretty well on it. It was $8.99, so $7. We have the Hugo Boss with the American flag. And I think I've sold this before for $35, but I wasn't 100%, but you're only spending $7 to make 30. By the way, we grabbed a lot of stuff, so there's gonna be a long haul video. We have the PETA LaBelle, and this is the Platinum Tour. This was $2.99, and I honestly, you guys are gonna hate me. I know it's like R&B rap. $2.25, and I'll probably get about 20 bucks for this. So this was the three items that I got for 50% off, and they are all Ralph Lauren purple tags, made in Italy. This one's size large, and it is a green, kind of like olive green colorway, and they were $12.99, and I asked the manager, I'm like, hey, I just helped out putting these stuff on the racks. Would you be able to do half off on these three shirts because they're $12.99? After the 25% off, what is that like? $9.75. I could have made money on them, but it just helps a lot if I got the extra 25% off. So it's 50% off. Oh, this one feels really nice. This is like a silky material. Damn, I know why these are so expensive now. I'm pretty sure these retail for like hundreds of dollars. That's why 
they still go for like 40, 50 bucks on eBay. There is one more colorway. We got a beige colorway and all purple tag Ralph Lauren made in Italy and they were all $6.50 each. And I felt like that was an awesome deal. I posted it on Instagram and everyone's like, whoa, you found purple tag. All right, actually, those were not the best find. I'm pretty sure this jersey is gonna be the best find of the day. So we have a practice jersey made by Nike. And you guys could tell practice jerseys because usually the sleeves are like elastic or they have this little tag right here. And the first number is the date and then this is the size. So this is from 2012 and this is size 46. And this is a practice jersey from the Miami Dolphins. Right there, pretty cool. Doesn't have a name on the back, but I'm pretty sure number 22 around that era was Reggie Bush. I think Ronnie Brown was number 23 and Reggie Bush was number 22. So if this is Reggie Bush, this would be an awesome score. Probably like 60 to 80 bucks for a practice jersey because it is like game worn or practice worn. And this was only $4.99 and then 25% off. So this was $3.75 into 60, probably 80 bucks if it is Reggie Bush. I'm pretty positive it's Reggie Bush, but it might have been someone else. But 2012, I think is when he played, but I'm not 100%. All right, next we have the big Trefoil logo, spell out Adidas, newer era, but this was $6.99, 25% off. So this is $5.25, I'll probably get like 25, 30 bucks for it. There was a couple items that I just couldn't look up because my phone was dead, but I was just like, all right, it's on the vintage tag. We have this Caldwell Theater Company shirt. I don't know if you guys can see that. The lighting in here is really bad. I need to get one of those lights for when I make my YouTube videos and do these like hauls because the lighting in here is just off. Next, we have like an early 2000s Anvil tag, and this is a Saturday Night Live shirt. I don't know which skit this is, but it was only a dollar. $1.50. So if you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments so I don't have to look up AG. I don't know. One has an A on it. One has a G and it looks like it's dated 2003. I have no clue, but it says Saturday Night Live on the sleeve. If you guys know what this is, leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Next was another gamble because I didn't know what team it was or what brand it was, but we have this Alive 8 and then it had this little owl logo. So I'm guessing I haven't seen this as like a soccer jersey, but I'm gonna say it's like some type of rugby team. That's gonna be my guess in it. But when I edit this video, I'll try to show like a little screenshot of what it is. But maybe it was just a waste of $2.29 and I'll be wearing this in another video because it was a fail. But it's actually like really nice material. So hopefully it's worth something, but that was not it. We still have more. This was an awesome haul for shoes too. Well, one pair of shoes. We have a pair of Air Max 95s, and I believe these were the Premium Tape colorway, that was the name of them, and they were $24.99 and then half off. I don't like that they wrote the $24.99 right there on the side of the shoe, but I'll be able to get that off with some Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. To get this a little bit more clean, I'll scrub it with a scrub brush and some water, and it doesn't have any insoles, but they are size nine, and it's actually a really cool colorway. You got kind of like the zebra print right here, and then it has like that banana colorway. It's kind of dope, but I don't think I'd be able to rock these. They just aren't screaming Connor Thrifts. The bottoms are in pretty good condition too, so $12.50, I'll probably get about 60 bucks for these. I might list them for 65, 70, and I always throw like 15% discounts all the time on my watch stuff. This was definitely a good deal for $12.50, really good eBay inventory. And that's not all, there are still two bags full of goodies. We will go with this first bag, and this was $4.99 for this like crazy parka windbreaker. For a women's it has like the shoulder pads and everything but look at that crazy design on the sleeves we got the teal colorway with that like greenish i don't know i just love these multicolor windbreakers they do very well for me so this was three dollars and 75 cents and i'll probably ask like 30 and even if someone offered like 20 bucks it's still three dollars and 50 cents into twenty dollars i've never seen one of these with the big patch on the back but we got the polo ralph Lauren custom fit with a three on the sleeve and this one was 6.99 25 percent off the only problem with this one is i definitely have to wash it it has so many yellowing stains on it you just get a little bit of that oxyclean gel stick and you push it on some of the places that it's yellowing and then you wait like 30 minutes and then throw it in the washer you'll get the stains right out Ooh, another polo ralph Lauren for 6.99 really cool and it is a hawaiian shirt pretty dope nice colorway and this was 
five dollars and 25 cents so probably sell it for like 25 bucks but i'll pay up for some of those nicer brands like polo ralph lauren lacoste tommy hill figure anything that i think will sell very well i'll definitely pay up a little bit more for it next we have barack obama double-sided chain shirt $1.99 and it was 25% off, so $1.50 into 20 bucks. I usually only pick up those Obama shirts if they're like a dollar or two dollars and they have to be double-sided. So we only have a couple more tees left, but we have a dog shirt. And if you guys are not buying dog shirts, you guys are missing out. This one's on that late 90s Fruit of the Loom tag, and I don't even know what kind of dog this is. It says, oh my God, that's a long name. An American Staffordshire Terrier. <laughs> It looks like a bulldog and a German Shepherd and a Pitbull mixed. All three of those. That's what it reminds me of. We have the Walt Disney World Marathon 2006 t-shirt with Donald Duck and it's double sided. That was $1.50. I figured maybe sell it for 15 bucks and you're only paying $1.50. And then the last find, I didn't save like the best for last. This is probably one of the worst things I grabbed, but $1.50 for this mushroom t-shirt nintendo mushrooms and this is a 2005 with a little koopa right there so a dollar fifty into another 15 buckaroos i hope you guys enjoyed that video i know my battery was dead when i went to the thrift store so i apologize that won't happen again but that's all from one store we got some shoes some ralph lauren some polo ralph lauren we got some hawaiian shirts t-shirts a lot of everything, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. Make sure you guys turn on notifications for when new videos come out. Have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.